हाँ चंपा आर यू आर यू एबल टू लिसन मी यस सर सर यस सर हाँ ओके ओके टूडेज क्लास विल बी टेकन बाय अप टू अनदर थ्री क्लासेस ऑल्सो बाय पुआन सर सो नाउ आई एम दे आर ऑल्सो हेल्पिंग हिम पुआन सर विल स्टार्ट द क्लास वी आर ओनली फाइव आर जॉइनिंग नाउ सो वी हैव टू वेट अनदर फाइव मिनट्स और फाइव मिनट्स if uh, some more will be joined uh, and you know if 10 numbers of students are not joined then sir uh, sir 10 number okay sir uh, geology class chalchi seithi pai ke asinandi oh ho so 9:30 re join kariye nai 10 re sir 10 re class sorio ha 10 re sorio ha geology re kichu achha ya bisi chhe ओके सो सो व्हेन विल स्टार्ट द क्लास चंपा वी विल वेट फॉर अनदर टेन फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स यस सर ओके सो यू रिमेन ऑन लाइन हाँ Yes, sir. All of you should remain online. Okay. So uh, yes, within another ten minutes, we will start. So they will join. Okay. हम्म आमे
topic physics paper your uh, 137 and you know uh, go through the course of study it has four blocks am i audible yes sir okay okay <coughs> am i audible yes sir yes sir okay. so you know uh, the course of study so if the paper consists of four blocks block 1 2 3 4 so in the first block i have been assigned the these four blocks and i have to discuss i am instructed to discuss the uh, one block in one hour only so it, the time is not sufficient at all so as per the instruction i will go through the each bit of the block uh, just i'll touch it and i will introduce i'll give in some guideline how to study the the uh, blocks so in your first block you follow the course of study that is your wave and acceleration now what is that wave we'll go for what is that wave wave you know wave is nothing but the mode of transmission of uh, energy mode of transmission of energy or mode of trans propagation of energy from one position to another position okay it is the wave so in your day to day life you know when you are sitting near the sea beach you will see the waves and at the same time you will sit in the or throw a stone in the cold water mm, okay <laughs> okay uh, you will so that wave you know wave is nothing but the mode of a transmission of energy mode of transmission of energy uh, and in general uh, there are main, mainly there are three types of wave three types of wave that is one is mechanical wave another is electromagnetic wave and third one is matter wave so uh, elect mecha mechanical wave you know mechanical wave that is the wave which is propagated along a string a string which is fixed at both, both end string if you disturb it by any means by stocking or whatever maybe or plucking then the string will get vibrated and the wave is established along the string also i am giving the examples that is your pond water in pond water in a water in a pond is just uh, rest if you disturb it by throwing a stone what will happen you will see the uh, circular faces move away from the aspects from the away from the string from the point of disturbance that is also it you see you have created the wave by mechanical way mechanical way mechanical process so the wave propagated by or established by mechanical uh, means that is mechanical wave which are the mechanical wave examples of mechanical wave are sound wave sound wave your uh, wave wave propagated along a state string these are the mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave it is nothing but the when any region is exposed to any region is exposed to uh, both electric field and magnetic field in mutually perpendicular direction any region electric field you know magnetic field you know when both fields are simultaneously applied to a region what will happen you will see the energy is propagated and that energy propagation is also called electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave that is the examples of electromagnetic wave like light radiation these are the electromagnetic wave and third type of wave is most important that is matter wave the matter wave you know it is associated with a material particle in a motion whenever a particle is in motion it is associated with wave like properties and the uh, this is example when electron associated with wave so you this chapter will discuss in the modern physics but in this block we will discuss uh, the uh, we will discuss the mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave so first of all you are given in the course of study you may follow the course of study or keep the course of study near you 
so that you will follow one by one your first uh, the topic name is or the bit of the blog is transfer wave on a string transfer wave on a string or mechanical i have already told you mechanical wave which is established by application of external force so uh, the mechanical wave is the form of energy which is propagated through a medium due to the simple harmonic motion of the particle of medium whenever mechanical wave is established or propagate through a medium the medium like air medium or in a string whatever may be then the particles of medium moves in simple harmonic motion or vibrational motion simple harmonic motion it is the uh, special case of vibrational motion in which the vibration in which it is executed by restoring force okay so this is your simple harmonic motion so the mechanical wave is propagated through a medium due to the uh, simple harmonic motion of particle medium you see this is the wave is propagated and the particle is vibrated like this so this is the mechanical wave and uh, whenever mechanical wave is propagated through a medium what will happen the some sections of medium gets raised above the normal level and some second section of medium depressed below the normal level so you see the both this rise level is called crest and the depressed uh, depressed section is called trough so you see crest and trough follow each other while the mechanical wave is propagated through a medium in your day to day life you can observe the wave propagated in pond water pond why one taking pond water pond water is arrest when the pond water is disturbed by throwing stone what will happen the circular patches moves or spreads away from the point of disturbance you will see that some section of the water rise above the normal level and some section rise below the normal level and this is the uh, mechanical wave established over the surface of water now the wave formation and wave propagation wave formation i have already told you the wave form wave is formed by a mechanical means that dropping stone on the water the uh, circular ripple spreads or the wave propagates similarly if a string fixed at one end this is a string you see this is a string which is fixed at one end if the string is plucked or you give the sudden jerk why not or you move the free end up and down what will happen you will see the wave is propagated or along the sheet like this so this is nothing but the mechanical wave established along the string you see the string rise and depress rise and depress so this is the crest to our form now you see uh, the now the important term of the wave important terms of this important terms also associated with all type wave it is mechanical associated to mechanical wave electromagnetic wave and matter wave first of all what is frequency frequency when wave is propagated through a medium what will happen then the particular medium vibrates then the number of vibration takes place during one second the number of vibration of particles per one second is called uh, frequency of the wave and it is represented by f the number of vibration per second now time period time period the time required for one complete vibration of particle of medium is called time period the for one vibration it take t time therefore frequency is equal to 1 by t frequency is equal to 1 by t or in other words at is equal to 1 next wavelength wavelength when you see when wave reaches at certain point you see when reach, the wave reaches at this part point or this particle this particle start vibration when this point the particle vibrate so you see during the one complete vibration the particle start vibrate move from this to this and again come to this and this so you see during one complete vibration of the particular medium then the wave is propagated or cover up certain displacement and the displacement covered by the wave during the time in which the particle cover up one complete vibration is called the wavelength what what is wavelength the wavelength is the 
wavelength that is the uh, <coughs> distance traveled by covered by the wave or displacement covered by the wave during one complete vibration of the particular medium is called wavelength okay this is the wavelength generally if you calculate it you see the wavelength is the distance between two consecutive crest this is one crest this is another crest so the distance between this crest and this state that is equal to wavelength from this distance to this point and also you can say the distance between two throw this from this position to this position or this is a also wavelength wavelength is the distance covered by the wave during one complete vibration of the particular medium next another term is amplitude amplitude that is the displacement of particle uh, on either direction you see the particle vibrate like this you see this is particle like like this now this is the mean position or rest position the particle moves up to this position uh this position on this side and again to this position to this side now you see the this distance this distance is called you see so this is the maximum displacement of the uh, wave or particular medium particular vibration in either direction is called the your amplitude what is amplitude the maximum displacement of particle on either side of the mean position either side of the equilibrium position is called amplitude it is represented by capital a now the graphical representation of wave motion how can the uh, wave motion be represented the wave motion you we are discussing here the uh, mechanical wave but all these are valid for all these type of waves all these that is electromagnetic wave matter wave and also wave so now wave motion is represented by uh, the graph between displacement at time the graph between displacement and time is called the graphical representation of the wave motion displacement if you take the time along x axis and displacement along y axis and if you draw the graph the graph is like this this is the graphical representation of this so we will not discuss in detail we will not discuss the in detail because Excuse me, sir. Um, i want to touch all the points of this block within the stipulated time of one hour so it is not possible to discuss how the graph is obtained uh, in detail but you know my point is you note the uh, you note the points so the first we know what is the wave and what are the important term mechanical wave you know what is mechanical wave what are the terms and how can it be represented by graphical graphical method the graphically this is represented by this graph so it is a excuse me sir or sign sinusoidal the wave shows or it shows the sinusoidal so that the equation of graph you know the sinusoidal graph is represented by equation y of t is equal to a sin omega t where omega is the angular frequency and a b f is the frequency then angular frequency is equal to 2i pi f because 2 pi by f is equal to 2 pi by t is equal to how much this is equal to omega so 1 by t in place of 1 by t i can write if therefore omega is equal to 2 pi f now the equation one becomes y of t b the graph this graph is represented by this equation and this equation is remodified by applying the value of omega as y of t is equal to a sin 2 pi t by t your omega t by t, by t. and also it is the equation represent wave at any instant t similarly the graph also represented by y is equal to a sin kt why it is kt kt 2 pi by t it is always a constant i can write it kt so 2 pi kt so k is called constant called the wave number of the wave wave number of the wave now 
the relation with lambda. Relation with lambda. Suppose let us take two point at x1 and x plus lambda. You know lambda from this distance to this distance is lambda. So if this position is x1, then this position is x1 plus lambda. Okay. If this is x1, then this is x1 plus lambda. Okay. Now the displacement at this position y is also displacement at this position y. Therefore, we can write at this position a sine k x1 is equal to a sine k x1 plus uh, k lambda. Now uh, I can write it psi or if this is theta, theta plus 2 pi is equal to, you know, sin theta plus theta sin theta. So therefore, in this place, I can write it k x1, k x1, k lambda is equal to how much? If theta, k lambda is equal to theta. Therefore, you can write your k is equal to, k lambda is equal to 2 pi. This plus 2 pi is equal to this also. So therefore, it is a periodic rotation that is called. So k lambda is equal to 2 pi. So k is equal to 2 by lambda. So the propagation constant or wave number is equal to 2 by 2 pi by lambda. Now the equation can be rewritten as y of x is equal to a sine 2 pi lambda by x. So the wave also equation 5 represented by equation 5. So you see the wave can be represented by the equation 1, uh, by equation 2, by equation 3, by equation 5. Okay. So a wave can be represented by all these equations have the different form. But both have, both the equations have same meaning, but they have different forms. Okay. Now let's come to oh, velocity of wave. Velocity of wave, the velocity with which the distance displacement covered by the wave during unit time is called velocity of wave. I have already told you the displacement lambda is covered during complete time period. Therefore, velocity is equal to lambda by t. t is the time. During the complete time period t, the wave cover of displacement lambda. Therefore, v is equal to lambda by t. Or you can write it, v is equal to how much? Uh, 1 by t is equal to f. That is, v is equal to f lambda. This is the relationship between displacement, a velocity, frequency and a wavelength. This is valid for all the wave. What we are discussing here for mechanical wave, the all these wave obey these laws. So all these things are displaced like this. Now the this is all about your the graphical and now in the mathematical description of wave motion. Mathematical description of wave motion. Suppose a wave is propagated along a positive x direction. So when wave reaches at this point, the point start vibration. So first of all, I will take the displacement of this particle during the time t is equal y of t or y x zero t is equal to a sine two pi t by t. Okay, this is the equation we have already described. So the displacement of particle t particle at o at any time t is equal to how much a sine 2 pi t by t. If we take another particle at a distance x, then the wave will it take the time to reach at x is equal to x by b. You know it. Time is equal to x by b. Therefore, if the original particle, the, the particle from which the wave is originated start vibration, then it will vibrate after time x by t. Therefore, during the time t, if the particle vibrate for time t, this particle will vibrate time t minus x by b. Okay, because here yeah, Arambur vibration, it start vibration from beginning, but it start vibration after time x by b. Therefore, if the total time of vibration is t, then it will vibrate for time t, while it will vibrate from time x at t minus x by b. Therefore, the displacement of particle B is equal to how much? 2 pi 1 by t, t in place of t, I am writing t minus x by b. Now, this 
when it is simplifying, you get a sine 2 pi t by v or t v is equal to how much? Lambda. Therefore, a sine 2 pi lambda v t x. Or now, this is also representation of a wave, a wave by the equation. Now, if you take another particle before that, what will happen? The equation of wave becomes v t plus x here. In the positive, when you part, consider the particle B on the positive f direction, negative sign comes. When you take the particle on the negative x direction, then it, the time sign becomes positive. And the equation becomes this. Therefore, the general equation of wave for any particle xt is equal to a sin 2 pi by lambda bt plus or minus bbc. The complete mathematical description of one dimensional wave propagation along x direction. Over. Now the other form also, you can find the other form like this. These are the other form of like this. Now, let's come to your topic. Again, here we have discussed the nature of all wave. We considered the mechanical wave, but the all the properties here is also applied to all the type of wave. But one thing, your mechanical wave uh, needs the medium for pro its propagation, but it cannot propagate in vacuum. But the electromagnetic wave and as well as the uh, matter wave does not require any medium because it consists of electric field and magnetic field. It does not, need, does not require any medium for its propagation. But the properties are same. The, Electrum, the wave also, electromagnetic wave also represented by the equation and the amplitude, definition of amplitude, uh, your uh, uh, wavelength, all are same. Now the equation of transverse wave along a string. I have already told you when a, a string is supported at one end and a given slacken vertically uh, at the free end, the slacken just move up and down on the other end, free end. Then what will happen? Then the transverse will be propagated along the string is like this. Okay, this is the like this. Now, let uh, mu is the uh, mass per unit length. Now the, uh, you see the transverse will be propagated along the string with acceleration must be A is equal to B by d square y by dt square. This is the expression for acceleration. Force applied, force applied means you have, I have already told you, in order to start the mechanical wave, you have to apply a force. So here, the force applied, mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration, your mass into acceleration. Mass, we have considered the elemental section of your string, stressing that is AB, whose length is L delta x if mu is the mass per unit length mass per unit length the mass of delta x elemental length a b is equal to mu delta x into acceleration this is the force on the thing. but how this force is provided the force is provided due to the tension of string so the tension of string here the tension of string that is the net vertical component of force. You see, or uh, you follow your book and you can understand very clearly at point A, the force, force tangential, this is force tangential to the string, can be uh, <coughs> resolved in two components. This is what horizontal component, the vertical component. And at section B, the tension is tangential, this is like this. So this is vertical component, this is horizontal component. Here, the, both the horizontal component balances each other. Only the vertical component causes the motion. Therefore, the vertical component f sin theta 2 minus f sin theta 1. Or uh, that is equal like this. So, by binomial expansion, I can write the net, net vertical component f. f is the tension of string. d square y dx squared delta x. Del square y delta x. So, now from equation 1 and 2, so you can understand it very clearly or uh, which is clearly explain your book. You will follow your book which is supplied by IGNO and you can understand very clearly. So uh, because I have no time to 
uh, experiment. Therefore, this force and equal to this force. My point is the transition string when a string is uh, given slacken at the free end, then what will happen? Then uh, the transfer wave is propagated along the string and the string is vibrated due to the tension of tension of string and you get the tension force is this much and tension of string is this much. Therefore, this is two equal and this is equal to equal. Now, rearranging term del square y by del p square is equal to f by mu. That's why so this is the wave equation for a transfer wave on a tension of string. Tensor wave on the tensor of string. This is the wave equation. Uh, if wave equation or transfer wave equation propagated along the string. When a string is string is vibrated or transfer wave is propagated along a string, what will happen? Then the equation of the transfer wave propagated along a stressed string is equal to this much, where F is the tension of string, mu is the mass per unit of length of the string. So here, this term is the acceleration of particle of the um, particle of the vibrating, vibrating particle. And this is the amount of bending, how much of bend is occurred or bend is suffered by the string. So this term is the amount of bending of the string. Larger the bending, larger the magnitude of bending, sharper will be the bending string. Then larger means sharper the string, then uh, elastic, uh, elasticity of yeah. So dimension of uh, well, what is the significance mu by m? Mu by m is the velocity. Mu if you take the dimension of this is the tension force and dimension mass per unit length, you will see that it is nothing the dimension of velocity. So uh, in this place we can write velocity v square. This is the velocity square, so v square. So the modified equation of wave along a stressed string must be del square uh, t by del v square equation 4. Okay. Now let's come to, I have already, I am telling a word, transverse vibration. Transverse vibration, the vibration in which the What, one minute? Now, you see, uh, so that I am, I am telling about the transport vibration of string. Actually, uh, in the mechanical way, again classifying two categories. On the basis of vibration of a particular medium and direction of propagation of wave. Wave is propagating in some direction and particularly it vibrated along some direction. So basing on the, listen to me, I am not, I have not prepared the note, listen to me. The basing on the direction of vibration and basing on the direction of propagation of the wave, the uh, mechanical wave is classified in two categories. One is the transport vibration, another is the longitudinal vibration. Transport vibration, if the vibration of particle of medium is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Then this type of vibration is called transverse vibration. You see, uh, in the beginning of the note, you see, uh, you see this is the direction of propagation and this is the vibration of particular medium. Both are perpendicular. This is the transport vibration. But longitudinal vibration, if the direction of propagation and direction of vibration are along the same line, that means propagation is along this distance and particularly vibrate along this, like this. So this is the longitudinal way. So the when a string is disturbed, then transfer wave is propagated along the string. But when the sound is propagated, the sound is propagated in a medium, it is your longitudinal wave. Okay, transport and longitudinal wave 
you know. So here in your course, the transverse vibration along a string is over. So you know how transverse wave is established along a string, and you know what is the equation of transverse vibration along the string. Next, next we uh, follow the course of study. Wave formation and propagation is over. Relation between wavelength frequency is over, and wave velocity is over. And the mathematical description of wave motion is also observed. Now let us come to your in your according to your course of study, there is a type of wave. Follow the course of study, you can understand clearly. In the next step, types of wave. What is the types of wave? Now the types of wave that may be two type of wave. When plane wave in your course, type on the basing of different ground, the wave may be different. If basing on the mode of the propagation, it is defined as your longitude, your electromagnetic wave, matter wave. But basing on the propagation of vibration, number of vibrations, they are classified in two categories. One is your plane wave, another is spherical wave. Plane wave and spherical wave. If the wave in which propagates single direction, then the transverse wave along a string. Okay, the wave which propagates in single direction, propagates in single direction, then that is called your um, plane wave. But if the wave in which the disturbance is propagated in all the direction, disturbance, the particle vibrate in all direction, then this is called like this. The wave is. I have not drawn the figure in your book. The wave, the transverse wave along a string is a plane wave because the wave propagated along the same direction. But the spherical wave is the wave in which the disturbance is propagated to outwards in all directions. That means this is like this, like this. Just I am just, you see, look at the arrow mark. This is the end. Round, round, spring, just like a spring. This is the spherical wave and you will follow here the disturbance is propagated in all directions. Therefore, this is called spherical wave. Next, next in your um, types of wave, follow the course of study. Uh, that is, and I have already told you, uh, wave are nothing but the energy are propagated. The energy are propagated, so energy carried by the wave. As the as wave propagate along the string, it goes, it gains kinetic energy and due to the constant force, but the tension and it also uh, will have the elastic potential energy. The string tap audio, it is just bending means that is elastic potential energy and it is motion means kinetic energy. So when wave is propagated, transverse wave is propagated along the string, transverse wave is propagated along a string, what will happen? Then the both kinetic energy gains kinetic energy as well as elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy due to bending and your uh, due to the motion kinetic energy. Therefore, you can find the amount of energy contained the wavelength, energy energy contained in one wavelength must be half mu a square omega square lambda. Now, the power of energy is power. Power is equal to energy transmitted. This is the energy propagated in one wavelength. One wavelength means one time. So power means amount of energy propagated per unit time. So this amount of energy is propagated during time t because one wavelength, t capital T. So in unit time, power is equal to e by t. That means e lambda v. So this can be written as this is the. So this is the rate of energy propagated. Uh, by wave in a stressed string which is very linearly with the wave velocity b so 2 pi constant mu constant a constant f constant therefore uh, energy e power is directly proportional to velocity of propagation and also if frequency changes it is also this is the frequency proportional to frequency square so when transport wave is propagated along a string, the energy transmitter or rate of flow of energy 
the directly proportional to frequency and directly proportional to the frequency square and directly proportional to velocity. Now let's come to uh, your uh, intensity of wave. Intensity of wave means energy per unit volume. This is unit per time. It is defined the rate of transfer of energy by way per unit area normal to direction. Unit area. Unit area means unit length. I have already considered unit length. So unit area, A, if I take area, is P by A. This is, to be, oh, this is the intensity. So you see intensity is directly proportional amplitude square. Intensity is directly proportional to the amplitude square. Now, in your course, your uh, intensity already will discuss about uh, follow the course of study, superposition principle of wave. Superposition principle, superposition principle means whenever one wave is propagated, one wave is propagated, uh, whenever one wave is propagated in a medium, Mechanical wave, suppose. Medium like air. Then the particle of medium, air, particle of air get vibrated or moves in simple harmonic motion. When another wave is propagated simultaneously, another wave propagates. What will happen? Then the vibration gets modified. So the what is the displacement of wave? When another another when number of mechanical wave or number of waves propagate through a medium simultaneously what will happen then the displacement of the particle of medium then the displacement of the particle of medium gets modified which is equal to the algebraic sum of displacement provided by each wave. one wave displacement provide displacement y1 another y2 another y3 nth wave y Therefore, the displacement, resultant displacement of the particular medium, y is equal to sum of algebraic sum of y1, y2, dot, dot, dot. Okay. This is called principle of superposition. Principle of superposition means whenever number of waves propagate simultaneously through a medium, then the resultant displacement of the particular medium equal to the sum of displacements provided by each wave. Okay, are you clear? Now, <clears throat> the, the superposition occurs in three different ways. Superposition occurs in three different ways. That is, one is your interference, another standing wave, and B. I have already told you, whenever so waves are superposed with each other, whenever waves are superposed with each other, then the resultant becomes, it may be, Interference may be standing wave, may be B. That means waves are superposed with each other in these three different ways. First is interference, second standing wave or stationary wave, th third B. Interference, that is, it will be discussed in optics. And standing wave, it will discuss in sound. And B, it is also discussed in sound. So first interference. Interference under different conditions of the waves, superposing waves, the interference are obtained. Whenever, well, under what condition interference is obtained? Whenever two waves are being, two waves, whenever two waves having same constant phase difference, same amplitude, same frequency, but, but in phase with each other, same phase, propagate simultaneously through a medium, then the then the interference is produced. Interference is produced whenever two waves of same amplitude, same frequency, and in phase with each other or constant phase difference propagate through medium simultaneously. Similarly, where standing wave, whenever two identical waves propagate along the same line but in opposite direction, same line but opposite direction, then standing waves are produced. In the third type, whenever two waves having slightly different frequency, frequency propagate through a medium simultaneously, then what will happen? Then beats are produced and that beat will be discussed in the sound chapter. So uh, <clears throat> next, in your course of study, follow the course of study, uh, we'll discuss about sound wave. And our main topic is your 
mechanical web. I have already told you the propagation of transport web along a streak, one of the important form of mechanical web. At the same time, propagation of sound is also another form of the mechanical web. And uh, sound, propagation of sound. We are, I am shouting, I am telling or we beat the drum. Then sound is produced. If you uh, plug the string, the sound is produced. Okay, when a tin fall or a metallic plate is fall from certain height on the ground, then uh, then the sound is produced. So sound is produced when the medium or the medium get vibrated. You see, by beating the drum, you just vibrate the surface of the uh, drum. Similarly, by plucking the string, you just start vibration on the string. So my point is, sound is produced only when when a body gets vibrated. When body is vibrated, uh, vibrated, then sound is produced. Now the sound it may be uh, different sound. Sound of two types, which is musical and noise. Musical, the sound coming from from the uh, from the wind instrument like wind instrument like boise, boise. or you can say uh, sound coming from a tabla sound coming from drum is are the musical sound but sound given by a mosquito this is also musical sound but the noise is produced by sound coming from a, a vehicle sound coming from beating a uh, iron plate this is the noise so the sound which is uh, the sound which is produced sinusoidal so periodic sinusoidal wave periodic sinusoidal wave sinusoidal periodic wave then the sound is musical if it is non periodic irregular waves are formed then the sound produced due to the non periodic irregular wave from this is noise okay when the periodic regular waveforms are produced, the sound is musical. When non-periodic, non-periodic means irregular interval of time. And irregular waveform of the sound produces noise, okay? This is noise. Now let's come to uh, loudness of sound. Before going to loudness, let's come to intensity of sound. Intensity, how our ear, hear, the sound, whether it is more intense or not. The sound energy, sound is in the form of energy. Then the energy propagated per unit volume, energy propagated per unit, the sound energy propagated per unit time per unit volume of the region is called intensity of sound. So I is equal to P by A and this is equal to B. Now the loudness. Loudness, loudness, how the amount of sound reaches in our ear. This is loudness. Our when the sound touches the screen of our ear, ear skin, then the screen vibrated, we get sound. Then the sound may be louder, may not be louder. But loudness not a, actually it is a physical quantity because the sound which appears to be louder for you, it may not be louder for others. So my point is sound is not a physical quantity but the loudness is a, not a physical quantity partial physical quantity so loudness is directly proportional to the amplitude square loudness is directly proportional to intensity loudness is proportional to intensity Int since intensity is proportional to uh, amplitude square therefore loudness is directly proportional to amplitude square so loudness amplitude square and it is measured by the quantity bell decibel sound is the, the loudness is measured by this bell decibel similarly acoustic building in the science of the controlling noise the building which is made near an industry so in order to control noise must be noise are produced from the industry and that may disturb the building so in order to control the noise or minimization of noise then uh, then this controlling of noise is called acoustic of a building. The uh, 
it is the science controlling noise for controlling noise in the building is called acoustic science and next force vibration vibration i have already told you by an external force vibration started in the medium so if the vibration is propagated uh, propagated freely then that is called uh, propagation due to restoring force but when you apply external force on the vibrating bodies then what will happen then the vibration is called force vibration okay the free vibration in a resistive medium suppose a free vibration is occurring in a resistive medium you just move a vibrate a pendulum which is suspended from a roof after some time it gets stopped so that you uh, this is resistive medium if you apply an external force from time to time then the vibration you will be continued and that vibration is called force vibration the free vibration in a resistive medium with an application of external force is called force vibration and resonance it is a special case of vibration when the particle come to you you apply force that means the the frequency of vibration is equal to the frequency of force when the vibration free vibration or you can say the uh, frequency of vibration coincide with the frequency of uh, applied force external force then the this is called resonance occur resonance occur now this is all about your mechanical wave and mechanical wave in transverse wave mechanical wave that is transverse wave along a string and another your sound propagation the it will study you will study in detail from your book next we'll go for your electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave i have already told you electromagnetic wave is produced due to changing of electric field and magnetic field along two mutually perpendicular directions so along when electric magnetic field are supplied in two mutually perpendicular direction then electromagnetic wave produced light is produced x ray is produced gamma ray is produced that is the electromagnetic wave so the electromagnetic wave maxwell derived the equation these two equation are the electromagnetic or a plane electromagnetic wave plane electromagnetic wave plane electro which is propagating along single direction then that is z direction they say then the electric and magnetic vector along if electromagnetic wave is propagating along z direction there must be two component that is electric component along x direction and magnetic component along y direction at this much okay now electromagnetic nature of light electro nature light is electromagnetic light is an electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave is a transverse in nature so transverse wave electromagnetic is a transverse nature when electromagnetic wave is propagated along direction then the electro electric vector and magnetic vector uh, propagate perpendicular to the direction of a propagation of wave and the pointing vector the pointing vector is like this you see the pointing vector how many times pehle kitne so much hindi hai pehle so the this is these are the nature of electromagnetic wave and you can follow your book and you can see all the properties of electromagnetic wave another regarding the propagation of electromagnetic wave the scientist heisen stated a principle the heisen stated a principle regarding the propagation of light and you will see from your book the heisen principle is like this now the definition of wave front wave front wave front is the locus of points having same phase when light propagates light propagate then the uh, position of or the locus of point having light of same phase same phase like that is called wave front wave front the nature of wave front depend on the point source if there is point source then the spherical wave front is formed when it is linear source linear wave front is formed when the cylindrical source in the from point next polarization when the general light is not polarized on polar so in a on polarized wave then the, there is vibration into mutually perpendicular direction that is along x direction and y direction x direction electric vector y direction your magnetic vector but the wave propagated in z direction this is on polarized light but if you cut off the the polarize the cut off the vibration uh, in the all direction except one direction then this is become polarized the wave having uh, 
uh, vibration in one direction, one plane only, it is called polarized wave. So process of making unpolarized wave into polarized wave is called uh, your uh, polarization. You see a light or the electromagnetic wave can be polarized by passing through a slit. Slit. Passing, you, you see here, this is circularly polarized when light propagated along this sheet. You see, this is all direction vibration, but when it passes through sheet, that is single direction direction. So this becomes polarized light. This is unpolarized light. Polarized light, the device by which the unpolarized lights are made polarized. The device by which unpolarized lights are made polarized is called polarized light. Now Malatwa, Malatwa will determine the linear polarization. Said that the transmission axis polarized. Okay. You study Bitter law. The polarization can also occur by reflection. When electromagnetic wave like light incident or reflect is reflected from some transparent material like plastic or glass, then it gets partially polarized. It gets partially polarized. And the but the amount of polarization light is unpolarized. When it, is, it gets reflected from the surface of glass, it is partially polarized. But the amount of polarization is determined by scientist Bistors. According to Bistors, the when light incident at a certain angle which is equal to uh, tan inverse nu n2 by n1 n2 the medium refracting the two media then what will happen it get polarized like this we see maximum polarization of course at this one like this double polarization when light is refracted through a crystal like calicite then it is divided in two parts one part like this and the other part this. when it passes through a crystal you see this is one direction vibrational it is one vibrational direction. It is perpendicular along vertical plane, it is a horizontal plane. And it is ordinary and external plane. My point is due to when ordinary light or unpolarized light it passes through calicite or any crystal, it gets split up in two rays, two polarized rays, one ordinary and external rays. And this is called double refraction. And Nicole, a scientist who devised an optical instrument, who devised an Important, important optical instrument to in order to study the analysis and polarity. Okay, thank you very much. Due to you all, you all follow the notes uh, uh, from your book, and in the next class, in the uh, day after tomorrow. That is on 19th, uh, 19th at 9 a.m. So I'll discuss the next block that is interference, one of the important property of it. Thank you very much. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Any any question? Any question? Yes, sir. Tell me. Ask. Hello. Uh, sir, okay. in Egan course. Sir, sir, in EGA, in EGAN course, there, there is no no course of BPCHT 137. Okay, again, I'm not, it is not audible at all, please. All you write enrollment number in the chat box so that your attendance can be recorded. All the students write your enrollment number or roll number in the chat box so that your attendance can be recorded. Okay. Have you written? Yes, sir. And those who have not written, please write. Please write your enrollment number in the chat box. <laughs> Only there are the four. And please write. And we are having six students in the class. Mm -hmm. And who have not written, please send to the chat box. Excuse me, sir. Okay, we'll speak. Ask me. Hmm, any question? Yes, sir. 
sir in the e gyan course there is no course like one uh, bphct 137 sir how we will study how can study i can't understand clearly so you have provided the books from igno no, we don't have received that you yet you follow your books okay you follow your books sir we have not got the books books i have not provided any books from igno no, no sir okay i'll inform my uh, coordinator uh, he, he will take any step to provide your book provide you books okay you just follow the course of study and book is very much essential without book you cannot go ahead okay i am not teaching i am just guiding you i am just uh, giving some instruction how to read it okay thank you